Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta yesterday, while he was addressing himself to the incident where Raila Amolo Dinga was stoned in Rift Valley, <laughs> na mambi mekata kuenda. The president came out clear to insist that for him, he has decided that his vote is for Raila Amolo Odinga. Ata nini fanyike, yeye ameamua, kura yake ni ya Raila Amolo Odinga. So that means that there is nothing that will stop President Uru Kenyatta from either voting, campaigning or supporting Raila Amolo Odinga during this electionary time. These remarks did not go well with William Samai Ruto, allies in Mount, in, especially in Mount Kenya and the Rift Valley region. These people got so much angry. And even William Samai Ruto himself, he cannot be a happy man when this statement is coming out from President Uru Kenyatta. And especially even when Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka decided to endorse Raila Molo Dinga because Ruto was banking on Kalonzo, said like that Kalonzo should go on all the way to the ballot as a presidential candidate, Ivo Pekeake, or if not, then he should be joining him. And this is what Kalonzo Musyoka said about William Samai Ruto, if you allow me to read. He was captured by the star. This is what Kalonzo Musyoka is saying, Ruto is angry because Uhuru and I support Raila. <laughs> that is Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka. Since I declared my support, I have been peaceful. From that day, the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya is Raila. This is why Ruto is angry a great deal. That is Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka. And beside this, there is a video I've shared on this channel whereby Bahat MP Kimani Ngunjiri has come out gang blessing on President Uhuru Kenyatta. There is a part that I had cut from that video that I just wanted to listen to Kimani Ngunjiri addressing President Uhuru Kenyatta. You can read the anger in Kimani, Wambu, Kimani Ngunjiri he is even going to an extent to threaten President Uhuru Kenyatta about his business in this country. That if this country is going to burn, then the first and the biggest casualty is President Uhuru Kenyatta because he is the biggest investor in this country. I want to listen to him shortly. And after that, we are going to discuss on how this William Ruto allies are making... William Ruto chances of becoming president too much difficult for him. Listen to Ngunjiri shortly. Because out of 16, Selekani Musibanya Ukora, Uhuru Mwedai Kenyatta, Angaria Panjia Mzuri, out of 16, 11, they are goons. One of them is Nalina Udinga. They were sent there in advance. I agree what you said. Atewewe, Kichwa Yako, Tumbo, Mapafu, Akili, Nini Ote, Iko Azimio. I agree with you. Kwa sababu, uka kondemu wata hiyo. Ili ya luto walipikuwa jana, juzi. Nini last, nini man, about the man. Nairobi, babu ino anapanga hiyo maneno. You do not condemn it at all. Why are you praying double standard? Why are you inciting Kenyans? Kuliku wena upumuzika kama kibaka. Why are you inciting Kenyans to fight? Fula hayako umengizu wa huko. Na unajua watu wa lija udinga ni watu violent. Ever. And you now going in the Jenga Mongai station yako ya kameme unamweka huko inoro unamweka huko kutukana watu kuini side Kenyans and you are funding Jenga Mongai we know that you are funding and I want to tell you continue funding lakini ujue hakuna investor mkubwa Kenya kama wewe so wakati na bikini ya mungini itachomeka also bikini ya you also in Kenya Please give us a break. Keep off. Because the things you are doing is bad, you are I'm helping you. I'm telling you, you are naked. I must shoot you and tell you the truth. 
I'm helping you kukwambia hii siasa unokea ni chafu utapakwa mavi na lile udinga utanuka na yeye atanuka pande nyingine na the first thing kupiga ni wewe we are telling you kwa nini mbele walikuwa wanazunguza mambo ya mashamba walikuwa wanafanya nini walikuwa wanapiga eh mambo ya mashamba all through eh sasa unafikiri wamebadilisha now we are continuing with our page and discussion but i have a quick request you might be watching this channel but you have not yet subscribed so my humble request please consider subscribing so that another time once we release a video like this one you will always get notified again to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment i must say thank you so much for your unconditional support again i'm requesting you to give this video thumbs up so that youtube can recommend our video to more viewers back to our discussion now there are two main things that Kimani Ngunjiri is talking about. The first thing is the issue of President Uhuru Kenyatta's investment in this country. And the second thing is how Kimani is framing a community as people who always don't like peace, the people who have been destabilizing peace. <laughs> in this country so Kemani in his own view he believed that when Raina was going to Rift Valley he went there with the goons and these goons were just prepared to disrupt Raila Molodinga so that it will be seen as the Rift Valley people disrupting peace in the country so Kulingana na yeye, this attack of Raila Mono Dinga was well organized by the Azimio team or by ODM. That is what Ngunjiri is trying to bring out. And he's saying this because according to him, Raila Odinga supporters, there are people who don't like peace. <laughs> Where on this earth can someone arrange goons to attack him to an extent even of stoning his chopper whereby even he was almost being hit by a stone. I think money is going too far. There's nothing that is making sense in what he's talking about. The only issue I want to drive out here is that the people from Raila Molodinga side to some of the Luo community. There are people who don't like peace. That is what they have been using in a campaign from 2013, 2017. Ruto want to have this continuation. But seemingly no one has been buying into this Nakawa Menyamaza. But now his allies are bringing this issue out. They want to tell the people of Mount Kenya region that Raila and his team they don't like peace. So for that reason, if you want disruption in this country, you have to believe what President Uhuru Kenyatta is telling you and vote with that side. But if you need peace, then you have to vote against President Uhuru Kenyatta. That is what Munjiri wants to spread. Unfortunate, I don't think if there's any stupid Kenyan who can buy into this issue. Kenyans are brave enough to make an informed decision. It will be thus just that if they don't like Raila, it's not because Raila is a disruptive man. It will be just because they just need to vote for William Ruto. But if they have decided to vote for Raila Molodinga, there's nothing can change their mind by bringing out such kind of allegations that are baseless. <laughs> Secondly, Kimani is warning President Uhuru Kenyatta that Uhuru has been taking people to his vernacular radio station to castigate William Ruto at expense of Raila Monodinga winning Mount Kenya region votes. <laughs> then he goes ahead to warn President Uhuru Kenyatta that Uhuru is the biggest investor in this country. So the fire is talking about that if Raila could have been hit, the country will go into flames.
Kimani is warning Uhuru Kenyatta that he is going to be the first casualty. Because he's the biggest investor, then he's going to be the biggest loser in this country in case the country goes into the war. And for him, he believed that if Ruto is not the president, then this country can go into flames. So it's a warning he's sending to President Uru Kenyatta. That you either stand with the Ruto and if not, prepare for your business to go down in this country. <laughs> Again, he's reminding President Uru Kenyatta about people who have been talking about the land issues. That when they take over government, they will turn the land to the people. So that is Raila Amon Odinga's side. Uhuru is not stupid. He knows all this. But he has decided that this time round, it is Raila Amon Odinga and not William Samway Ruto. <laughs> so this warning, Gunjiri simply want to tell the President Uhuru Kenyatta that in case William Ruto will win this election, and because you are supporting Raila Amolo Ding, then who is going to do the opposite? Your business will, will be dealt with. Those land, the tracts of land you are having now, it is William Ruto that is going to return this land to the people. <laughs> because they believe he believed that. For Uhuru to support William Ruto, it was to protect his properties. But now Uhuru supporting Raila Odinga, it means he's exposing his properties and Raila is going to deal with him. The fact is that because Ruto was supposed to protect him and now he's not supporting him, then in case Ruto gets to power, what Ngunjiri is not telling people is that Ruto will deal with the Uhuru Kenyatta. This was supposed to be a silent notice to President Uru Kenyatta. But because they have made it public, then Uhuru is going to use everything possible within his power to make Raila the president. Because now these people are planting fear into the masses in Mount Kenya, they are planting fear into the masses in Rift Valley, and they are planting fear into the Kenyatta family. So the only way for Kenyatta family to be secured is to continue with that that they have started. What did they start? Promoting Raila Molo Dinga. So they have to finish the race by making sure that Raila is winning this election. That is the biggest mistake Uhuru allies are do sorry, William Ruto allies are doing to him. We have issues that they should keep quiet. They don't need to mention. They have to wait until they get to power. Because this is some of the mistakes that Raila have been doing so much so far. He has changed the, the, the tactic. He is so much silent. Whichever direction they tell him, he's going. Because for him, we understand what he need. But now Ruto is playing the kind of politics Raila was playing sometimes back. So the biggest loser into this issue, in my view, is William Ruto. But Raila has lo a lot to gain. I don't know what to think about this. But let us meet in the comment section to have a continuation of this conversation. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.